Welcome to the Craft Beer Radio Research Laboratory. The other day I was on Twitter bitching about a frozen beer glass and one of my followers, Barley69, uh, called me out saying it wasn't such a big deal. He doesn't like it, but it doesn't make a big difference on the serving time for the beer. And we both had the same idea at the same time. Let's have an experiment. Let's test it. So what we're going to do is I'm going to have three glasses. A control glass here at room temperature, have a glass in the refrigerator, and a glass in the freezer. I have water here, which will be my beer analog for this test. And what we're going to do is we're going to pour water into three glasses. I'm going to take samples every minute for the first 20 minutes, and then five minutes all the way up to an hour. And we're going to graph that and see how it corresponds to the recommended serving temperatures of, of the beers. First thing I want to test is what temperature beers are in my beer fridge downstairs. Because I had the water in the fridge in the last couple hours and it was still only 51 degrees. So I am curious what this beer, which I just put out of the fridge downstairs, I get the cap off, is. So let's put this in there, give it a second. It's a quick breathe thermometer, it should just take a few seconds. And my beer fridge keeps beers at 47.7 degrees. I had asked on Twitter, beer people, what temperature they keep their draft cellars at. And the answers I got back were from 36 to 42. So what I have right now is I have a pitcher of water at 39.2 degrees. I used some ice just to get it down to temperature so I could start. Give it a quick stir. We're at 38.8. So I'm going to take the ice out, get the glasses out, start the experiment. All right, we're here with the three glasses. We have one at minus three Fahrenheit, one at 37 Fahrenheit, one at room temperature. Temperature I will have to get at a later time because I don't have a thermometer sitting room temperature right now. And this is the, the Libby uh, 5139 standard mixing glass. It is uh, 413 grams. All three of them are the same temperature. The water has equalized at 39.2. So that'll be our start temperature. And I'm going to fill these all to the same point. And I'm going to start a timer here real fast. These are 16 ounce glasses. I filled them right to the top of the, of the logo there, all equal. Let me start a timer. Stop, watch, go. Okay. So I'm going to take my first readings at a minute. All right, it's going to be difficult to take readings every minute without three thermometers, one in each glass. So what I'm going to do is kind of do every two minutes. Uh, the initial readings, the room temperature glass, which started out at the liquid was 39.2, I believe, is now at 42.1. The refrigerated glass is at 40.3, and the frozen glass is at 37.4. So let's take a minute, oh, we're two minutes now, so I can take a two-minute reading here. Forty-two point eight. Forty point five. Now one of the things I was trying to consider with this experiment was should I keep the volume consistent or should I try to simulate the glass being drank? And what I decided to do was to do the first experiment like this with a consistent volume, 36.5. I decided to do the run this first experiment at a consistent volume and maybe at a later point do a drinking, removing volumes as if it was being drunk, and another experiment, handling a glass like you would handle a glass when you were drinking it to add heat back into the glass that way. But you don't want to have too many variables, so this one we're just doing pretty flat, where the only variable, if you did them all the same, I guess it wouldn't be a variable, the only variable we're testing right now is the glass initial temperature. 
All right, an hour has passed, and I got the results. Let me go. Notice I have a, two beers here now. Might as well plug some beers. I was drinking the Wolliver's Alta Garcia Coffee Porter. Really good stuff. Uh, best thing I've had from Wolliver's. And right now I'm finishing up the uh, Atwater Brewery Vanilla Java Porter. It's good. You know, it's with the vanilla. It's more of a dessert beer. Where the coffee porter is coffee porter, and I really dug it tonight. Um, got some significant numbers now. So it's been an hour, and I figure if you still have a beer after an hour, who cares how warm it is? Uh, so I'm going to stop the experiment, crunch these numbers, come back with some pretty graphs, and splice those into the video. All right, so I've crunched the numbers. It took me about an hour to do so to get the graph all pretty and everything. And so two hours into the experiment, I took some more measurements. And from frozen glass to room temperature glass, there's only about four degrees difference. So they've come up over 120 minutes, pretty close to each other. They're still um, eight, 10 degrees below room temperature. So they haven't come up to completely equilibrium yet, but um, they've equaled out. Some of the interesting things, you know, check out this chart. It took 34 minutes for the frozen glass to get to the same temperature that the room temperature glass was at at the first reading at um, 40 42.1 degrees at one minute for the room temperature glass took 35 minutes for the frozen glass to get there uh, 45 degrees is a pretty good sweet spot for a lot of beer styles it's the high end for some lagers and koshes and things like that it's the low end for pale ales, IPAs, porters so if you look at the chart, you notice that it takes almost 10 minutes for your room temperature glass to get up to the sweet spot for those beers, where it takes 45 minutes for the frozen glass to get up that far. And you'll notice that the, the room temperature glass takes about 25, or the, the refrigerated glass takes about 25 minutes to get up to the sweet spot for many beers. Um, I will post the experiment details and the information online. If you found any problems with the experiment, please let me know. And like I said, we'll probably do some other variations on this experiment in the future. Removing volume from the glasses as if they were being drank. And also reactions from handling the glass with warm human hands. Hope you enjoyed this first experiment from the Craft Beer Radio Research Labs. Wish I had a white lab coat and safety glasses to wear, but I didn't want to wear the glasses without the lab coat, so maybe next time. Thanks.